Hi, I want to introduce you to the Ella hat. This is a basic beanie worked in the round from the bottom up and it is very versatile and very straightforward to knit. So you can see that this is quite long and it comes with a rolled brim. The length means that when you're knitting it, you see the unrolled length here, you're from here up to the point where you're decreasing, you're just knitting a long tube. And that means as well that you can actually pick what size you want to knit and adjust to the length as you go. So you've got a small size, medium size, and a large size. This one's the medium, and it's designed to fit snugly around the head, but then it's long enough that it kind of can sit back a little further. Here, I'll show you, this is the medium size is my size here. So usually when I put it on, I'll sit the front arm around like this, and then there's enough of a slouch that it can sit back like this. Because it's longer, you can actually pull it down over your ears if you want, or you can even roll it up if you wanted a shorter hat. So I find that having a little longer gives you a lot of versatility in terms of how you want to wear it. But if you know you only like a shorter hat, then you could always just make this tube a little shorter and then start the crown decreases sooner. This size is the medium and it uses almost the entirety of a 50 gram skein. So it's 50 grams of newest sport which is a very soft yarn. It's 60% merino, 20% yak, and 20% linen. So very, very next to the skin soft, and it's not too thick, so not crazy heavy, um, which means that you can wear it in kind of medium temperatures and not just really cold temperatures. But if you're a little worried about running, running out, you may even shorten the hat a little bit if you've only got one skein. If you're making the large size though, you will need a second skein because you're going, you won't have quite enough with one 50 grams. You'll need 100 grams if you're making the largest size. So the way this works is you cast on the number of stitches you need for your size for the bottom and then you join in the round. The way you work in the round is completely up to you because what I did is I had a circular needle that I joined in the round and it was exactly the length I needed. So it was 20 inches long. That means that when I reached the top of the hat and there was less stitches, I had to do something to pull it in because obviously if there's less stitches the, but the needle stays the same size, it's not gonna work. So then there's two options when you reach the top. You've got magic loop where you use an extra long needle. Let me pull one here and have a very long cord like this. And when you work it, you leave a little loop on one side and a little loop on the other side. You can actually do magic loop for the entire hat, in fact. So if you don't have a shorter cord, you can use magic loop, or you can have ones which these are interchangeable needle tips. You can take the top off and then you can change the cord length out if you want to. The other option for both the whole hat or just the top of it is DPNs, which are double pointed needles, which are needles that have points in each end and you can use them to join in the round where you usually have four of them to join the circle and then one more that you're knitting as you go around. So all of those are different ways that you can work a hat in the round. When you reach the length you want, you're gonna work what they call decreases all the way across to form the crown. And because they're worked in the spiral pattern coming up here, creates this really nice, flat, well-fitted top to the hat. And then you kind of tighten it all up into the middle. All of these steps are in the workshops. So if you are new to this, you can jump in and just start working your way through the workshops. Or if there's just particular techniques that are new, then you can just jump into that section of the classes. If you need the yarns, just look for the, the Ella yarn kits on my website and you can get enough yarn that you need. If you need the knitting needles, they're three and a half millimeter needles, either the extra long one for Magic Loop or perhaps tips where you have the three and a half tip at which you get both a short and a long cord so that you can do first of all in the round like this and then changing it for Magic Loop when you reach the top. But please come on in and start working your way through the hat. If you have any questions, just drop them in the comments and I will answer them as, you, um, as whenever you put them up there. So thank you for joining me and I hope you enjoy your hat.